In this video, we're going to look at the WP-14 Desert Patrol. We're going to look at the origins of the fast attack buggy, then look at the WP-14 and do some tests, put some sand paddles on it, and then do a post-saltwater swim eval. For many of us, the Awe is one of G.I. Joe's greatest vehicles, based on the dune buggy kind of military vehicle that we've seen Special Forces use. Now back in the 80s when the Awe came out, Tamiya came out with a kit called the Fast Attack Vehicle, which was based on some of their great dune buggy designs, but made this vehicle remote control. Now Hasbro has made some G.I. Joe RC vehicles, but none of them are good and some are just terrible. So wouldn't it be great if we could find an RC dune buggy that was cheap but would fit 118th scale, a real American hero figures? And this is why I got so excited when I saw the WP-14 Desert Patrol vehicle. It's pretty much an RC version of an Awe Striker in 118th scale, or 116th scale, but it's pretty close. See, here you can see it next to the Awe Striker um, and the Vamp, and it's pretty big. I mean, it looks a lot bigger than the Awe Striker, but the Awe Striker was always kind of shrunk in and stuff like that. And so, first thing I wanted to do was see, could I get a real American Hero figure into there? So, this is one of the original, you know, like O-ring figures. So, it's three and three quarter. It's not four inch, and I was able to get it in there. And then uh, hooked up the battery and just figured I'd drive it around a little bit. It felt really responsive, like really uh, good feel, proportional steering and acceleration and reverse. One thing I really didn't like about it was these big fenders on it. I guess that's, you know, to keep the sand and the dirt off it. And I'd seen those in ref images, but I just thought they looked terrible. It made it look like some kind of like fancy car from the 20s. And you can see it looks a lot more like the Awe Striker once you get those front kind of fenders off there. And the Tamiya buggies too never had those fenders. I took it out in the grass and it ran around really great. You can see I put a couple figures on the outside there. Um, yeah, just kind of put like some rubber bands on the wrists, you know, grab them onto the, uh, the roll cage. And then some, uh, I think some blue tack just on their feet to keep them in place. But you know, that's going through some, uh, some decent grass. And what's great is it's four wheel drive. So... Um, unlike some of the Tamiya buggies that were just two-wheel drive, you know, with the four-wheel drive, if you lose traction in the back, you know, the front wheels can pull you through it. You hear some slow, slow motion. You can see the um, the suspension's pretty good. It uh, it really keeps the uh, the vehicle grounded and level and under control most of the time, and you know, it takes little jumps pretty well. Here it is, some slow mo going on the uh, you know some stone in the back, and uh, looks really good. I was really happy with the buggy until I saw this video by RC Maniacs. And I saw him driving around in the sand with these crazy tires, like with, uh, you know, paddles on it. And I, I was like, wow, I really got to do that. So I, I reached out to him and he responded that he just, you know, got in a file and printed those out. So I just went into a CAD and uh, designed up some paddles that would slip over the wheels. I thought that was really cool how he showed that, that, you know, the things he made just slip over the wheel. They don't replace the wheel. And, you know, it's really kind of neat. Um, my first attempt at the paddles were a little too big. They would rub the uh, the side of the vehicle, but then, um, yeah, I just shrank those and took them out in the sand and gave them a try. Now, disclaimer, I never tried it without the paddles, but with the paddles, it just looked, like, awesome. It was just ripping through the sand. You could see it throwing out these, like, little tendrils of sand as each paddle kind of, like, tossed a bit of sand out and, um, and just dug through, like, the sand, which here is, like, really beat up. So this is the end of the day at the beach, so people have been walking around and the sand's all, like pitted with footprints and you know people dragging things around and you know even at this small scale it uh it really tears things up with the paddles this is really scary i uh drove it down by the by the beach and i was like oh I'll get you know in the smoother sand down by the waves and you know the waves kept coming in get closer and closer and i probably should have stopped racing near the waves when i got that close now i didn't get any video of myself actually driving it into the ocean but a wave came up and fully submerged the vehicle and like it was kind of moving and then it started driving around in a crazy way and uh going in circles and i couldn't control it couldn't turn it off detach the battery and just decided to like let it dry off um not mess with it i did hose it down to get most of the sand out of it um but just kind of like let it dry itself out and because it's such a well-made vehicle i guess it still ran if you look at the circuit board you can see the the salt where like it was deposited but it still seems to work um you know i was able to get the sand out oh there you can see the cool like stick shift that's attached to the um the servo so when you steer the stick shift moves but yeah i took it outside and tested it out i you know brushed some more sand out of it but it seems like fully functional still which is great i was thinking about kind of washing that uh, salt off of the 
the chip, but um, yeah, or the circuit board there, but I'm just gonna leave it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I'm pretty happy with the vehicle the way it is now. I like it in the tan color. It really looks like a desert vehicle and I like how it's moving in the sand now. I might give it more of that kind of fast attack look, maybe add the third seat to it, you know, with the person taking care of the gun, but might also try to make it look more like an awe striker. Uh, if you have any ideas or you have an opinion, let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next one. Yo, Joe.